Hiya everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about what to do if your hamster escapes from their cage. But as you know from last week we went and bought Cherry a new cage which was in Alaska. So she's got loads of toys, she's got a new wheel on its way which is a 28 centimetres by 12 inches. She's absolutely loving it because it's got more floor space, more place to have her toys and she loves climbing so that's another thing. You can probably you can see her in the back of the video and this is Cherry up here and then we've got Cookie who's down here biting the bars. Aren't you? Hey? Are you biting the bars? So now I'll show you a quick clip of what Cherry has been doing with her new cage. Let's talk about what to do if your hamster escapes from their cage. So the first step is where to first find your hamster. Now the places your hamster will hide is in dark places like under furniture. So you should be looking under sofas, couches, beds and a dresser. Anything that they could hide under. They also like to curl up in small places so they could be inside your shoes if you can't find him or her in these areas, then the next step you should take is place some food in every room and shut the door, but also make sure that the windows are shut too. Please watch where you walk because you might not see them and can potentially hurt them. Find out what room they are in this way, so if the food is gone from one room and not the other, then they are in that room, if that makes sense. So if that doesn't work, then you can place their cage on the floor and open the door from their cage and then place some food leading up inside it so then that way when your hamster comes along they can pick up the food and then walk into the cage if this doesn't work then the only other thing you can do is is a bucket system so for a hamster bucket system you need a bucket with a ladder so a ladder that's ideally suitable for your hamster to climb up at before you put food in or put the ladder on you need to make sure that the bottom of the bucket is layered with soft bedding so it can be cushions it can be pillows it could be soft bedding it needs to be extra soft so that way when your hamster lands inside they're not going to hurt their bones they're not going to hurt anything of their body once you've layered the bottom of the bucket you need to place some food inside so it can be dry food it could be a bit of fruit a bit of veg but don't put too much fruit and veg in and then that way your hamster can smell it from where they are. Then they'll climb up the ladder and then they'll land in the bucket. But once they're in the bucket they can't get out again. So that way they're trapped and you can put them back in their cage. Now there are some other things that you can do to catch a hamster. Now these are having a piece of tin foil and placing it into a dark area. And that way you can hear for rustling. You can have monkey nuts but you tie some string onto it. So then that way when they take it with, their, with them to their nest. You'll have strands of string along the floor, so it'll be leading to where they are. The last thing you can do is either have cornstarch or white flour, place it on the floor, and put either monkey nuts or seeds on top. So then that way, the hamster will take their food with them, but they'll leave white marks of their paw prints on the floor. So then that way, you can follow that in the morning and find out where they're hiding. There is also one thing that you have to make sure that you do is when your hamster is missing, if you've got any other pets in the household, as in a dog or a cat, you need to make sure that they're in a separate room to where your hamster could be, because dogs and cats see hamsters as prey. So please put your other animals in a separate room to your hamsters. If you're watching this and your hamster has gone missing, I really do hope that you find them soon. If you need any advice or you need any help, then please do contact us on our Facebook group, which is the link down below, and we will help you in any way possible. I hope you're all well, and I hope you're all staying safe. I'd love to see your hamsters, so if you could comment a name, what breed they are and how old they are, that would be lovely. Or join our Facebook group and do it that way, 
because I'd absolutely love to see your hamsters. You've met mine, so I've got Cherry, Ruby, Fudge and Cookie. Thank you for watching our video today and don't forget to please like, share, comment and subscribe and we'll see you all again next time. Goodbye everybody. Hello everyone, um, I'm sorry that the video is late. Um, sadly on the 2nd of June 2010 my nan passed away. So the 2nd of June this year marks 10 years since she's been gone. So the reason why my video is late is because I needed to take some time to myself and my family to think about the happy times we had for my nan. She was also my nan but she was also my mum so in a way it's been very difficult so i'm really sorry that the video is late but i will make sure that the next video that i do will be on time if you have any ideas on what you would like in the next video then please comment below